Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and all the intro sounds have come from this Hornby 10 ton box fan um, running number R6925 TTS and the TTS sound and um, this is the first time I've tried it out uh, considering it was a Christmas present and uh, it's a great little gadget to be honest great little gadget right so ah, it's good to be back in double oak gauge um, I've had some great comments from the last video and uh, it was it was fun to do end scale and uh, I think if I had the choice again, I would probably have done this in Engage. I would have got a lot more. But I do like this size. Right, so the next build. Is there only one left in the series? So, shall we go and have a look? 
And here is the last building in the series. It's the old tobacconist. And um, as you can see, it's quite a unique building. I seem to be picking all these unique buildings. Um, this is how I'm going to go about getting these sizes because I can't see the bricks. So I can't count bricks. And the only way I can get the dimensions, believe it or not, from this photograph is, have you guessed it yet? This vehicle. So this is going to be the story of two vehicles. I'll show you why. Because I have that very same car in our scale. So this is how I've gone about getting the sizes. So this is how I've gone about getting the sizes of this shop. So what I've done is I've got my trusty vernier and I've measured from the bumpers externally from one end of the bumper to the other and it's given me 33.5 millimeters now for the same vehicle in double O scale it works out at roughly if I get this right I'm trying to do this one handed I set this it was 52 so if I set this one about 52 it was and it is 52 millimeters and by using of this car in the photograph here and this car in O scale I've been able to work out the length of the car and how it matches with the building so it's roughly just under two times the width of the building so just let's just show you the workings out so here are a few of my workings out. Um, this is the double O scale car here, which works out roughly 52.03 millimeters or 0.5. Um, and here is the car in the photograph, which is 33. Now the width of the building is almost two times the length of that car. Hence why we have 33 minus 31.5 equals 2.5 so if we have two of the double O scale cars and take off the 2.5 which roughly leaves us with 102 millimeters and this is how I've carried out all the calculations for this shop and some of it has worked out spot on um, for the inner triangle on this apex is exactly 52 millimeters, one width of that car. Now, the interesting thing about measuring up for this building was the roof here is one and a half times the shop, and uh, just by using the vernier and working out from the car on the photograph. flipping it on its edge so you had the width of the uh, the length of the car plus this gap here which is roughly 15, 14 millimeters so you add that together which gave me 48 millimeters and then working out this roof here is roughly one and a half times this section here even though this is on a slope as you can see it's on a slope so I'm using this as a guide so even if it creeps up a millimetre or so here, it roughly works out for the whole of the building. Now there is one problem with this photograph. I can't see what's going on on the sides. And I haven't got a clue what's happening behind the building. Because this building was very rarely um, a photograph. Um, I do have another photograph of this building 
but it's just this here which shows where it's been this may be original um, with the cafe because if you look at the cars look, look about 1920s and then if you look at the cars and this one even though the taxis are still the same there's a car there from the 1930s so this building was an upgrade to this one right so let's carry on with the build here are some of the doors and windows I'm going to be using for the shop uh, mainly these windows are going to be on the back of the building um, and so with this door uh, this door is one of these doors from smart models uh, all I've done is just trimmed it down a uh, millimeter off either side uh, this is going to be the main door on the shop front and as you can see I've cut out the cross and but with this one I put a little bit of plastic card on the back um, as it's a back door I think it'd be um, I'm more secure if it was uh, panels rather than um, glass and we have a little window here which would be for the um, probably the the privy or the toilet that would have been at the back of the shop no doubt so some of this is just guesswork but um, these windows are from smart models as well and these are brilliant they come in three parts and if you're building a terrace house or something like that these would be ideal because look at the detail you glue those three parts together and you get these lovely detailed windows so um, this is going to be tackled a lot differently than other builds that I have done um, I'm going to have to start with the base first work out where I'm going to put the shop front edge windows and then work believe it or not from front to back so we create the shop front like we have here and then fit the the windows and doors and then work from the back so let's just see how I get on here we have our basic kit um, we got two end walls the back wall the front top fascia where the shop name is going to be and the base so what I'm going to do now is just glue on these pieces onto the side walls which will do two things it will give this edge more glue coverage and it will also give you an edge to glue a roof in if you want because you have a lip there so that's what I'm going to do next just gluing on all these triangular pieces as you can see none of the cuts on the side roofs get wasted so as you noticed the wall on the sides here are quite thick so what I'm going to do there is to make up the thickness of the walls I'm just going to glue this little piece of 4mm strip card there on the edge as well and then the shop front edge can be glued to this piece Bearing in mind you've got to do this so that they're handed 
you only need to do it on the front face only. So you've got opposite hands. So moving on a little bit, I have applied a piece of 1mm card along the bottom there with a 1mm edge so that will then sit on the base and as you can see I've brought the brick card right way around um, the two pieces of card and this is where I'm going to start sticking the, the shop frontage onto. So with the two sides done you can roughly see how this building is going to work out. Place that in there as well. So the next thing to do is to work on the back wall and then I can stick the back and the two sides onto the base. Then we can then concentrate on the shop front. Now we have glued the three walls to the base and if we just turn it around we can have a little look of uh, what it looks like on the back. Um, as you know we haven't got a photograph of the back so I'm just sort of um, using a designer's license if you like so I've come up with this idea. Um, what I've done to the windows there I've had a, a plastic strip around the, the window frame which is 2mm wide by 0.2 thick and that just gives it uh, an extra a little detail. I've done the same with the door and uh, that's what the back is turning out to look like. Um, I haven't painted the doors and windows yet. I'm not sure of the colour I'm going to go to down that road. Um, as for the front um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the front. As you can see, I've marked out for the main shop door, and there's a few squiggles in there. Maybe position of a chimney pot and breast. Um, so I'm not sure whether to have the door in the centre or the door at the edge there um, as a cafe rather than a um, a shop. But as long as it turns out what we have in the photograph, that's the main object of this build. And that's what I hope to achieve, something along those lines. And just to think, all those dimensions of that front of the building came off that little car. Right, I think that's all from me this week, and uh, we'll find out next week uh, whether this shop becomes a calf, or whether this calf becomes a shop, or it may just become something different, as long as it looks something similar to what we've got there. So, thanks for watching now, and uh, we'll see you again next week. Bye for now. Bye.